what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Kath, the creator of The Content Bug, and I am here to help you follow your passion by growing your audience online. And today I want to talk to you about if you really need an email list as a blogger. This is a topic that is often covered on Pinterest and I've seen a lot on Instagram and a ton of other places like webinars and podcasts and I'm telling you it's all over the place but I just want to clear the air today, put my stamp of opinion on it and actually tell you if you do need an email list and how you could use it to your advantage if you decide that you do need an email list. So I'm going to guess that you've heard all the debacle about algorithms, from the Facebook algorithm to the Instagram algorithm, and heck, there's even a Pinterest smart feed, which is essentially an algorithm. Yes, algorithms are all around us. It's used by Google and so many other social media platforms and search engines in general, but a lot of people are freaking out about them. A lot of people are very nervous and thinking that the algorithm is working against them. But I want to clear the air and say that the algorithm is not working against you. The point of the algorithm is to make the platform more user friendly or more enjoyable by the user. The algorithm is put in place for a reason. It's not to hurt bloggers. It's not to decrease your visibility. It is to give people what they want to see. So on Facebook, you receive content on your newsfeed based on what you interact with. And the same thing is with Instagram because Instagram is owned by Facebook. When you engage with other accounts on Instagram, you're more likely to see those accounts in the future. The accounts that you don't engage with, you're rarely ever to see them. And then if randomly one does pop in one day and you're like, who the heck is this? Why am I following them? You're probably going to unfollow them. But the reason is, they deliver content to you based on what you've interacted with. So that means if you've recently followed someone's account, you are more likely to see their posts than any other posts. If you like a lot of their pictures, if you comment on their pictures, if you watch their Instagram stories, Instagram stories appear based on the Instagram stories that you've watched in the past. It's all based on your engagement because they want to deliver you content that you're actually going to enjoy, that you stay on the platform longer, that you keep coming to the platform longer, and technology is a very big problem. A lot of people are freaking out about the algorithm, and I get it because engagement and views and impression has gone down, especially on Instagram. It has been a hot topic, but there's a better way to do it. So building your social media following, I know it's something that we all worry about, especially as bloggers. Building your social media following seems like it is the be all to end all. You have to build your social media following if you want to make it. But I wanna change your mind here because with your social media following, you get about two to a 4% engagement rate. That's really low. If you have 100,000 followers, you're not having a lot of them like your pictures and engage with you. I mean, if you have a really engaged following, then that's absolutely awesome. But I have 1,700 some followers and per image, I get about 80 likes. That clearly shows that not everyone's engaging with my photos. Not everyone's commenting, obviously, but not everyone is seeing it. But with an email list, Everyone sees your emails no matter what. And the engagement rate on your email list is actually significantly higher than your engagement rate will ever be on social media. So I wanna challenge you to think if an email list is right for you because honey, I do believe that an email list is right for you. If you really wanna make money with your blog, if you wanna grow your success online, then you have to have an email list. No matter what, no brainer. You can't sell something on Instagram. It's not going to be nearly as successful. People most likely aren't actually going to follow through. They're not actually gonna go to the link in your bio to figure out what the heck you're talking about. It is a lot easier to sell with an email list. I use ConvertKit for my email list. I started my email list back in March of 2017 and I had no idea what I was doing. For four months, I just about had no idea. I just kind of let it sit there. No one signed up for it. It was just kind of just sitting there. I was paying for it. I was paying, what is it, 29 bucks a month. So I paid a lot of money before I actually got any real subscribers. And it took me until July is when I really started to realize how to amp it up a bit. And then August was when I really got serious. And I gained over 100 subscribers in a month. Now, before that, I was gaining about 10 a month. And then in July, I gained magically 30. And then when I hit August, I gained over 100 subscribers in one month. 
it was pretty impressive. It was pretty cool, but it's because I learned how to use my email list to my advantage and how to get people to sign up. With an email list, you're trying to get people to convert. You're trying to get them to go to the next step. So how many people view your blog? You can go to your Google Analytics and you can see how many unique visitors you get each month. You really want to pay attention to those unique visitors because those are the ones that are coming to your blog for the very first time. Now, with those visitors, there's a likelihood that a lot of them aren't actually going to come back unless you have a great lead generation system in place. And a lead generation system is something like your email list. So just capturing that lead so that they keep coming back for more, and then when you have something to sell, they're going to buy what you sell. That's all you really want to do. And with your social media, it's great to engage with your audience. It's great to connect with them. But if you want to sell to them and if you want to make money from your audience, then you really need an email list. And the emails you send to your email list may vary. You need to have a specific reason for your email list and a specific value that you are offering to your subscribers. So when I started my email list, I started it because I have launched a new resource library. So I have a free resource library that has all of my free resources that are on my website that you can individually opt in and then several that you can't individually opt in you have to be a part of my VIP team to get to so that is the main value I'm providing I also send out random emails with tips suggestions lessons that are not shared anywhere else not on social media not on my blog nowhere they're just sent to my email list and then they are the first people that get access to any product I come up with whether it is free or whether it is paid they get first access and they are likely to get all the discounts and all the first sales before anyone else even knows about it maybe actually my other readers and other people that aren't signed up to my email list they actually won't even get the sales information it's just specifically to my loyal followers. So there's a lot of value that I have within my email list. And when you create your email list, you need to think of the value you're creating. You don't want to just create an email list and say, okay, I created it. Now what? That's what I did for three months and it did not work well for me. So there has to be some strategy there. Now, like I said, I use ConvertKit. They advertise and say that they are the email automation platform for bloggers. Or I think they say professional bloggers. I'm not sure what their slogan is. It's like right on there homepage, but I honestly think this is the best platform to use beyond anything else. When I started, I was looking at a variety of different ones and I looked at MailChimp and ConvertKit. And MailChimp I liked because it was free, but then I realized it wasn't going to provide all the value that I wanted it to, that I needed it to. It didn't have the automation in place. It didn't have the sequences. I couldn't use tags. I couldn't customize in the way that I could with ConvertKit. And ConvertKit is a whole package program where I can automate just about anything. I could schedule five emails and just have them go off on their own. I can tag each of my subscribers based on what they're interested in. So when I am creating a paid product that I can specifically target just those people that are going to be interested in it. So ConvertKit is the whole deal for me. I do have an affiliate link. If you guys are interested in starting an email list, I do have an affiliate link and I will include it in the description bar down below. Now, if you are convinced that you are ready to start an email list and you are ready to learn how you can get more subscribers to that list and grow your audience so that you can turn your blog into a real money maker, then I have got some exciting news for you. I want to invite you to attend my first ever TCB masterclass where I am going to be covering everything you need to know about creating a free email course for your audience to provide as much value as possible to gain even more subscribers to your email list. Now, this masterclass will be going live Friday, February 16th at one o'clock and I hope to see you guys there because this is going to be jam packed with information. You're gonna get a behind the scenes look of my email list, my analytics, and how I created my free email courses. Plus you're actually gonna look at my free email course content, how to make it more engaging, how to make sure that it converts, and hopefully get those first time subscribers into long term readers, subscribers, friends, followers, and so much more. So I hope that you join me for this masterclass and I am so excited to talk about email marketing with you guys. I will see you there on Friday. Bye guys.